This is something I'm really excited about. Godzilla the series finally released on DVD. Oh man, about back in 1999 I must have woken up every single uh, Sunday morning to tape it. Right, and in fact, um, a lot of people have been seeing the um, the, um, the videos that have been posted on YouTube and stuff. If you see the um, the Channel 10 logo, and if that's my recording, a online acquaintance a while back he asked for a um, he was asking if anyone had any copies of the of the series when it aired, any recordings of it. I uh, said, yeah, I have it. So I transferred VHS to VHS, made copies of the of the tapes I recorded, sent them off to him, and uh, next thing I know, well, a few years later. Every, it's all over YouTube. It's all over YouTube and everything. It was crazy, but now here the, the the series has officially been released on DVD, and so now I want to unbox it for you. Trying to keep my address hidden. There it is, Godzilla the series, the official DVD. The complete animated series. Take the plastic off. Oh. <laughs> Godzilla the Putting these things on the top of it. What's this pool there? Okay. Oh, they're stacked on top of each other, okay. Yep, there it is, the official, the official DVD series. Yeah. The thing I'm interested in seeing is that um, when the episode uh, Cash of the Titans aired on Channel 10 a few years ago, the, um, for whatever reason, just to be um, before the um, last few minutes of the program, when the, where the commercial went, they cut off the first few minutes of that scene. All we got was um, Audrey saying, no, that was Crayman's idea too. I suppose we have to help him. We don't have to rush. No, that was Craven's idea too. Mental. You're my hero. Well, I. I never knew what was ha what happened in between that in that between that thing. So, I'd be interested to see that. Also, when I recorded the um, the uh, uh, the episode where they had where they went into the mine, right? The, the um, I pressed the record button a little too late, and the I missed the first few seconds of the um. Of the uh, of the episode, so it would be interesting to see those those missing seconds. Wherever we are, it's not on this map. We're lost. And there's also that um, I think it was the Juggernaut episode where uh, that little machine thing kept absorbing other machines and started becoming to life. For whatever reason, the um, the uh, the opening sequence was not aired in Australia. They just went straight to the to the um, to the intro. So I'd be interested to see what those uh, missing scenes are like. I even have all the original recordings of. Um, cause I used. I also taped the um, the Jumanji animated series as well. But obviously, you know, they would air at the same time. But here's basically all the original VHS tapes of all the Godzilla recordings and Jumanji recordings, I guess. But I liked Godzilla more. Yeah, there it is. It's. I even still got the original VHS tapes that I used to record off the telly. I even got this, even got this uh, email from the uh, person who, who asked for a copy. He actually sent me the money to cover, cover postage and the like. And here's the email here. It says, uh, it says, "We'll get you a copy of the DVD yourself. They will be region free. If you need to pay any shipping, let me know. Do you accept PayPal?" Thanks again for your efforts, Raymel. Those were the days. Man, October 10, 2004. How time flies. As you can see, yeah, I still have the original VHS tapes. Uh, oh. 
mold on this one. Don't worry, I've got a machine that can clean it. Anyways, I still have all the old recordings. So, um, I remember I used to wake up in the wee hours of the morning, like at 4, even though the show aired at, at 8 o'clock in the morning, I would wake up in the early hours just to make sure that the machine was still working or um, or make sure I wouldn't miss it and I'd stay for the rest of the hours and stuff, you know? I was so excited back then. I was wild back then. And good times they were. And here are the VHS to DVD transfers that the fellow in the UK made. These are these are my copies that he sent. I mean, this is, um, as you can see, he even went all out to um, to make an elaborate uh, DVD cover. Obviously, it's just a um, a VHS to DVD transfer. Still, I was very glad to have these, and I was. Happy to have helped out a fellow Godzilla fan. There were some releases of the um, of the uh, series on DVD in the United States, but they only released a handful of episodes officially. Now, this one has um, What Dreams May Come, Birds of Paradise, and Deadlock. And what's this one down here? And this one has um, Scale, The Twister, and Where Is Thy Sting? Those were the only releases that I... I think they released the first... Uh, there was another DVD that I, that was released in the United States, but... Um, oh yeah, and then there was this one, yeah, the Monster Wars Trilogy, which... I actually purchased this in the United States, so I um, didn't... I, this was released in Australia, but I believe I got mine from... from the US. Uh, yeah, the US there, it is right there, Region 1. And... Uh, because the fellow who um, wanted the copies of the um, of the uh, recordings, he was in the United States. They used um, NTSC in the US, so they they wouldn't be able to play the the PAL VHS tapes that I had. So, so he had a friend in the UK who had the ability to transfer the tapes to um, VHS tapes to DVD. Because you see, the in the UK they they use the same format we did. What he could do is what he could tra he could transfer the VHS recordings to region 3 DVDs and he sent uh, copies of the of his transfers to to his friend in the US and he also sent me a copies as well and uh, so yeah here they are and um, really pleased to have these for what for the longest time this was the only um, this was the only recording of um, Godzilla that you could get the Godzilla the series that you could get the only complete series and of course these were transfers um, of my uh, Channel 10 recordings, so there was obviously uh, Channel 10 logos and uh, here and there maybe some some video artifacts of some sort or dis or imperfections in the video feed, but uh, still this was the, for a while the most complete version you can get. And um, you know I was just ha I don't endorse piracy, but obviously I was just happy to help out a fellow fan. A few years after I um, had um, received my my copies of the transfers. Next thing I know, it's suddenly gone viral all over YouTube and everywhere else. Uh, apparently, the um, I, I spoke back to the guy in the U.S. and I was told that his U.K. friend had apparently shared the um, the uh, the DVDs or made copies of the DVDs and gave them to some of his friends. And um, one of them has obviously um, circulated it. But now, of course, now we have the now we have the official complete series. I'm very happy. Just going through the uh, DVD menus here, this is really cool, they've got the episodes in the right order now too. When they uh, um, aired in Australia, for whatever reason, they um, they didn't air Talking Trash until after the winter and our discontent. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to see that they've put them back in the right order. Just put on, I just put on disc two and it seems they've also fixed up the order of um, competition. That was the one with the, um, with the giant cobra. For whatever reason, in Australia, they aired after the the Monster Wars trilogy, which of course had the, um, the King Cobra in there. So when I first saw the Monster Wars, I thought I'd missed an episode. Of course, the first episode I actually started taping was um, was a Winter and Our Discontent, and um, but yeah, so I wasn't sure how many episodes I had missed. Of course, they re-aired later on, and I recorded those. But anyways, the um, so yeah, so when Monster Wars first came on, I thought, oh, I didn't ever saw him fight that monster, that giant snake. And then next thing I know, the very next week after part three, we got Competition, which had the, the giant snake. So uh, it's nice to see them put it back in the right order.
All right, well, here's the episode Cash of the Titans. Let's see what let's see what Channel Ten cut. <laughs> Don't you hate it when company shows up without calling? Starts to sit in this way as well because when I signal Godzilla again, I never stopped. Maybe he's in the shower. It's nice to see this episode Cash of the Titans like this because when I aired it, I mean, it's nice to see the um, Cash of the Titans like this because when it aired on Channel Ten, there was a problem with my VCR and there was some sort of like like uh, mirroring, not really mirroring, but basically like double image layer effect in which you could sort of see like a double image up, transparent laid out to the side, off center. You'd have to have seen the, um, the picture to see what I'm talking about, but uh, this looks much, much better. Now let's see what I missed. They do make a lovely couple. Well, I suppose we have to help them. We don't have to rush. No, that was Craven's idea too. That's all. You're my hero. Well, I. So it turns out they didn't cut anything. It was just a transition between you don't have to rush and uh, no, that was Craven's idea too. So interesting. I didn't realize they just transitioned like that. Thought they were actually missed out on a conversation or something. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I believe the episode that I was a bit late to. Um, See, to press the record button on was shafted, because it was the mine shaft episode. I think this is the one, so if it is, I get to see what I missed at long last. This is a big, big moment. Look, wherever we are, it's not on this map. We're lost. Give me that, Kevin. Nice. We're toast if we're late to Aunt Mary's. I'm not the one who knew a shortcut. Oh, so all I missed was, um, look. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's a bit of a relief. Yep, and uh, now I think this was the episode of the Juggernaut when they had the monster they kept absorbing machines, and were growing into a much larger part machine, part flesh thing. And uh, we, we the opening sequence was never shown in Australia. I think this is the episode. Let's see. I have never seen that clip before. It was not aired in Australia. Now my life is complete! Woo! I don't need to begin to tell you what, what that was just like. So now we know that that thing was actually an alien that crashed to Earth and absorbed that little racing car thing. All we ever got in Australia when this aired was just the clip of... We first, the first we see this thing in Australia was that, that go-kart so the remote control toy monster hybrid thingy, it pulls up to a hot dog cart and then absorbs the hot dog cart. That's all we ever got to see in Australia. Now we actually see that was what was cut from Australia. That's, that's epic. That's just epic. Mm. Here's the scene all we ever first saw of the, of the creature. There it is. New York's finest grilled right here. Just should say something here for clarification. There are three episodes in this set that are labelled as unaired. I should specify they were unaired in America. All three unaired episodes in the United States, they all aired down here in Australia. So I got them all on tape. And I guess for the longest time, that the um, the recordings that I made and and shared with somebody, which um, apparently who we shared with everyone else, um, apparently that was the only way people in the United States were able to see those those recordings, I guess, so, um, the only way to, they were able to see those episodes, so, I'm glad, obviously, now we can buy them, buy these episodes officially, but, 
I guess I hope I hope some people found enjoyment in the episodes that um, that I unwittingly made available for um, for people to see. Now, if we could just get the entire James Bond Junior series released on DVD, we'll be sweet. If you plan on getting this on DVD, just make sure your um, your uh, DVD player can play both PAL and NTSC, because um, this thing is only um, doesn't say here. Here we go, region region one. That's NTSC. Right, so make sure your machine can play both PAL and NTSC format discs. Well, that's my unboxing, and um, to everybody who um, to everyone who posted the film on YouTube, obviously those were my recordings. Well. Well, obviously now we have the thing on DVD, and um, after all those years of um, people uploading the recordings that I had made, well, obviously I don't endorse piracy, but I'm really glad that I was able to help keep this um, this series well alive in the in the um, people's eyes by um, by recording that show initially, and and so I hope the um, the number of downloads and uploads of that um, of those recordings that I had made. I hope that's what helped encourage you to get this film released on DVD, and for that I feel very proud. I didn't intend on it getting posted viral and stuff, but I'm glad I could help people see this series. It, it needs to be seen. Even if you didn't like the movie, you really gotta see this, because it's, it's been universally loved by any, even people who hated the film.